Hey guys, it's Adam here, and I want to show you all the concept of doing a poor man's covered call and how it's just beneficial um, not only to provide um, passive income, but um, just to make money long term. So, um, a lot of people will tell you to do these on stocks that don't move much. Well, I, I disagree with that. Um, options are, 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 well, growth stocks are more volatile, which jacks up the, the option premium. The IV gets real high on, on the options and makes the premium um, really high. So if you're selling premium, you obviously want that premium to be jacked up and juicy and, and high. So let's um, just run through um, how a poor man's covered call would work on a stock like Tesla. Um, so first thing we do is go out and we would buy a leap, a, a leap call. So we're going to go out um, as far as we can. Let's do uh, June 16th of 2023 is the furthest out we can buy. Today is June 29th of 2021. So this is about two years out. Okay. And um, it is best to buy one that's, that's deeper in the money. Um, just due to intrinsic value when it comes to actually rolling this trade at expiry, um, which would be in about two years. But considering that um, Tesla, in my opinion, is very cheap right now, I, I think it's going to run up to at least a thousand, um, probably before the end of the, the year, um, if not definitely within two years. So I would be okay with buying an at the money call simply because I'm not really worried about where this call ends up I mean don't get me wrong I want it to end up profitable um, I don't want Tesla to be below this um, the, my break-even price right here which would be 885 in two years but I believe that Tesla will be above that in two years so that would put me at my break-even for this leap option that I buy okay so if we buy this leap option right here it's gonna cost us twenty three thousand five hundred eighty three dollars um, and and that's good for two years. So what we would do is we would um, turn around and we would sell a strike that's that's higher than that, but uh, a very short expiry. So if we buy this 650 call, we would turn around and we would sell, let's say the 700, but we're going to sell it at a lot shorter expiry. Um, so we're going to come down and like let's see, maybe sell the July 9th. And what would happen is if Tesla just shot to the moon and went above 700 by July 9th, um, which is kind of unlikely, but this will even tell you your, um, your percentage of winning the, the trade. Okay, so if you was to sell the 700 call on July 9th expiry, your, um, your chance of profit is 73.4% chance that you're gonna, that this call is gonna expire out of the money. So 73% is a is pretty good odds um, that you're gonna be fine. But even if it does shoot up to let's say 710, okay, well what's gonna happen is your call leap is gonna gain more value to it than what this um, short expiry call is going to gain. And the reason is, is because we sold the 650 leap Okay, so it's it's thirty dollars in the money, um, which is going to give it higher delta. Which means as stock price moves, it's going to gain more value than this would, um, because it's out of the money. So the delta is going to be a lot lower. This delta is only 0 0.38, and I don't know what the leap was. We can look real quick. Um, let's see, that was June sixteenth, and. 650 the delta is 0.68 so almost twice as much so that's good that means this call is going to gain twice as much value if the stock price rises than the short call that you sell against this so even if tesla runs up higher than 700 and let's say you forget to roll that that option out or something and it you just end up letting it expire in the money you will still be profitable the only problem is, is that your profit is going to be capped at the $700 mark. That's like buying a call on Tesla and selling it in one week or two weeks after a $50 run. 50 bucks is going to make you quite a bit of money when you're buying an option contract. Um, you know, you're going to make, 
or the, I'm going to say around like $3,000, something like that. Plus, you're going to keep the credit from selling the, um, the short strike. And let's see how much that credit is. Let's just hit the share price. And we said we would sell the 700 So you're going to receive $1,430 worth of credit. So $1,400 plus your $3,000, um, you know, you're, you're talking about $4,400 profit, give or take a little bit. Okay, but we're not so much looking for um, this to expire in the money. We're looking to just keep rolling this week after week. Now, keep in mind, we spent $23,583 on that call lead. Okay, so we want to find out how much money we're going to make per week by rolling this contract. Now, the market's closed right now, and um, we can't really um, see, we, we, we can't, the, these options will decay more and they'll decay more than the next week's options will so as you get closer to expiry the amount of money that you're going to make each time you roll will be larger um, but just for example's sake we're going to see what the difference is between July 9th and then rolling it out one week to the July 16th so if we sold this one for 1430 and let's say um, it's time to roll so what we need to do is we need to buy this one back and then we'll turn around and we'll sell the next week expiry. But we're just gonna keep it at the same strike right now just to see how much per week we make from rolling this, this contract. Okay, so we're now on July 16th expiry. Let's find that 700 call. Okay, so this one is worth 2018. <clears throat> Okay, the first one was, was worth, I think, fourteen thirty. So I have my calculator here. I'm going to do 20.18 minus $14.30. We're talking about $588 just for rolling out one week. Now, that call that we bought on Tesla was roughly about two years out. So, and we spent $23,000 on that. So, First, let's add up 588 times 52 weeks because that's going to tell us how much money we bring in just in one year from doing this. So 588 times 52 equals $30,576. So we have 3576 And like I said, this is actually going to be a little bit better if you know you wait till closer to it to expiry before you roll this out one week. Um, and you can actually even get a, a little better bang for your buck if you, you sell one 30 days out, or let's say you sell one 30 days out, and you wait two weeks, you hold it for two weeks, and then you roll it two weeks out instead of rolling it one week out, holding for a week, rolling it one week out, holding for a week. So, But we're just going to calculate this up the, the small way, okay? Um, and be conservative on this um, because there might be sometimes you want to raise your strike and all that kind of stuff. So, and you can still do that, and you can still make money while you do that. Um, it just costs you a little more time, but nonetheless, you, you can still do that. Um, okay, so at thirty thousand dollars, or I'm sorry, thirty thousand five hundred seventy-six dollars is what we make in one year, but we sold a two-year-long leap, or I'm sorry, we bought a two-year-long leap, and we paid twenty-three-five for it. So we're already at $7,000 profit and we still have one full year left on that LEAP contract that we, that we bought. So at that point, what I would do is I would start rolling up and out, um, rolling up and out, you know, keep raising that strike price, but you can, you can raise that strike price and break even or make money by doing it. And I'll show you what I mean here, okay? So let's say, um, because in two years, Tesla, I'm sure will be higher than 700 and this will be an in the money call. So if we want to raise our strike price to let's say 705, okay, so what we would do is, and first, let's go back to that first option that we bought. Because let's say um, we're scared that um, we're gonna get a sign. We wouldn't as long as we sell a good week before expiry. Okay, so we had to buy the 700 back for 1430 bucks, and say we wanted to move our strike price up by five bucks. Let's just go to the next week expiry. Okay, so we would buy that 700 back for 1430, and then we would turn around and we would find a strike that 
is going to pay us at least what we spent to buy that one back or give us a little bit extra. Okay, so if we rode to the to the 705 from the 700 and we had to buy that previous 700 back for 1430 bucks, we can now roll to the 705 just one week out and get paid 1825. So you spend you spend 1430, but then you get paid 1825 as soon as you get this roll completed. So you're automatically making 95 bucks. Or I'm sorry, you're you're going to make um what would that be? That's 395 bucks that you would make for rolling to the 705. Or you could roll on up to the 710 um, and you would still make, uh, what is that, 238 bucks by raising your strike price 10 bucks in, in a one week out roll. So that last year, I would kind of focus on doing that. Um, you know, but either way, just if you was to roll out um, just one week at a time and keep your strike price the same, you're going to make roughly about 600 bucks per week, about a, a little over $30,000 a year, and you only paid $23,000 for that two-year leap. So, I mean, technically, if, if you kept doing it for two years, and like I said, thirty grand a year is being modest because um, you would actually get better returns if you waited until closer to expiry and then, then rolled out. You would get a higher credit each time that you rode. So... Um, that's just being modest. So let's say um, 30,576 times two years, which is what the leap is good for. That's um, $61,000. We only paid 23 for it. Let's just do the math here. 61,000 minus 23,583. That gives us a profit of 37,417 bucks off of a $23,000 investment. Um, and that 37.4, that's our profit. That's not our total return. That's our profit. So um, that's pretty good for two years, uh, especially off of a $23,000 investment. And to be honest with you, that, that doesn't take that much capital to do. And you're bringing in, I mean, think about it like this. If, if, if you go to work every day and you make 500 and or 580 bucks a week um, is what you make on your paycheck going to a nine to five 40 hour a week job um, you can invest twenty three thousand five hundred eighty three dollars into a leap into Tesla and you're gonna make that much money um, for the next two years um, and then you get your capital back and you can just do it all over again you would you would actually um, when it comes when that leap um, starts getting close to expire, you would buy it back at a profit also because that leap, you know, Tesla's not going to stay down here at 680 forever. In two years, Tesla's probably going to be 1200, 1500, who knows? Um, but it's going to be a lot higher than 680. So your leap is going to be profitable also. So, you know, it would give you enough money to, to buy that or to, I'm sorry, to sell that, collect your capital back, and then turn around and sell another leap and just keep on doing this. Off of a $23,000 investment, you can make about 600 bucks a week by using the poor man coverage call strategy. So if you have any questions, just let me know.